Jiggy cat on a damn feeling spree. This is not good, so and you can't mimic my energy. 100 round drum and be hanging like a center. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Nagato's Revenge. Welcome back on episode 5 of my Xbox 360 RGH and JTAG tutorial series. For today, I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to directly FTP files over with a Ethernet cable for your RGH slash JTAG Xbox 360. And I'll be listing some of the benefits of doing this. And this, what this basically does, you do not need a router for you to be able to transfer your files via from your PC to your 360. And it's very useful for a multitude of reasons if you guys did enjoy this tutorial as well i also have a tutorial for the playstation 3 so if you have a dev kit or modded ps3 you can also learn how to do that via right now i will have a card to that tutorial as well but with that being stated since we're focusing on the 360 for today let's go ahead and get started on the prerequisites and anything and any useful links i will have just like any of my other videos will be in the link in the description down below so first things first all you need is a modded xbox 360 whether if it's a JTAG or RGH, as long as it can run unsigned code, then you're good for this tutorial. As well, you need XEX Menu 1.2 version installed. If you don't know already how to install that, you could check out episode one. I will have a card right now for that process as well. And I will have that video in the link in the description, of course. Plus, you'll need Xbox 360 Neighborhood SDK, which is um also required for this process i'll also have another card if you don't already have that installed onto your pc or if you do then you don't have to do it but i'll also have a link in the description down below for that video as well and you'll need a ethernet cable you'll also need filezilla ftp client for optional if you want to transfer over but today i'm just going to be mainly teaching you guys on how to do this via with xbox 360 neighborhood sdk here are some of the benefits that i was trying to um state earlier on so with this method um by via just having your ethernet connected from your 360 strictly to your PC, you get way much faster transfer time. So let's say if you're trying to, you know, transfer over a lot of games, it's way much faster on um, doing this process. And, you know, you could also do USB as well, but if you're, you know, transferring a lot of files or even small files and you don't always want to go through that extra step and plugging it into a USB device, then you could just use this method as showcased here. Um, it's supported with Xbox neighborhood as well as files on the FTP support or just any FTP client. Um, for that matter, so you can use this on any FTP client, whether if you're using on a phone, um, you know, something like uh, another FTP client for Windows, but yeah, those are just some of the major benefits for that. I just want to give a special thanks out to Shadow Bullet for, you know, helping me out with this series. And don't forget, if you need any help on this process, you can feel free to join my Discord. But let's go ahead and get started on the PC side of things. And let's go ahead and get started on the 360 side of things. Alrighty guys, assuming that you did follow all the prerequisites as stated in the intro, let's go ahead and get started on the PC side of things first. So as of right now, before we get started, make sure your ethernet cable is connected from your Xbox 360 to your PC from the back of your PC. If not, this won't work, so make sure your device is connected via that way. But assuming that you guys got that set up, just plug in your ethernet cable from one side of your 360 to your PC, we can be able to start this process so what we need to do now is go ahead and hit or type right here in the search bar control panel so let's go ahead and do that then you will get this stating right here network and internet open that up and from here what you want to do is go into network and sharing center and from here what you want to do as well you want to go into change adapter settings and via from this web page right here, let me maximize this. You should see your Wi-Fi if you have it connected from your PC. Plus, you should have the actual Ethernet cable. If you don't say or if you don't see something that says unidentified network, that means your Ethernet cable is not picking up your 360. So make sure, of course, your 360 is on for this process. But what you want to do as of right now is right click over this, go into properties. You want to go where it says internet protocol version 4 tcp slash ipv4 right click that or just go into properties and here is the ip address you want to type in so yours will probably be blanked out from here what you want to do now is set this to one 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 for your subnet mask you want that to be 255000 so make sure you just type those um digits in and then all you have to do is hit okay 
close and then just to verify your stuff is back running and working just go to properties again ipvv4 properties and just make sure your thing is with this setting so all you got to do is hit ok close out and now it's fairly simple on how to do this as well what we're going to do is go to our xbox 360 and then get our ip set up via on that network side of things for the 360 so let's go to the 360. Alrighty, so we're on the Xbox 360 itself. Let me go ahead and just back out from the actual menu. So we could just start from the beginning. So, okay, we're at the beginning. Your Xbox 360 is on for this process. What we need to do now is just scroll all the way to our settings, hit A over system, go into network settings. Mind you, your ethernet cable needs to be on. So what you wanna do is go to wired network. And then what you want to do from here is go to configure network and you want to go ahead and type in your IP settings, your IP address, subnet mask and gateway to these number digits right here. So right now we're going to go to manual for IP address. What you want to do is just literally type in this IP address so 1.1.1.2. Then once you do that, hit done for your subnet dot mask, go in here and hit 255.255.255.0. Once you type that in, hit done. Gateway, just leave it as 000. Then scroll down, save your settings. So your IP settings should look like this 1.1.1.2, 1 .1 subnet mask 255, 255, 255, and 0. Gateway 000. And your primary DNS server needs to be all one. So right now, we're going to go to here, make sure it's manual, go into here. If you want to type it, just make sure it's 1.1.1.1, 1 .1 hit done. Secondary DNS, do the same thing, 1.1.1, 1 .1 and then hit done again. And your settings should be just like this. If it's not like this, it won't work for this process, but make sure you type all that information in via on your controller, or you could do it with a keyboard. But if we hit B to hit back, and actually, let me back out from here. To test our connection, if it's working itself, we need to go open up XEX menu. So let's go to my games, XEX menu. And if we hit RB twice, it will show our device's IP, which should be 1.1 point, or excuse me, yeah, 1.1.1.2. 1 so let's go here. And if we hit RB twice, you can see that my IP address is 1.1.12. So to test if our thing is fully working and is now um, basically are able to transfer files via over our network. What we're gonna do is go to our PC and transfer any random file via with Xbox neighborhood just to see if it's connected on the other side. So let's go ahead and check that. So since that is done and you got everything set up on the Xbox 360 and now the PC, what we want to do is go ahead and open up Xbox 360 neighborhood. If you don't know already how to install that, I will have that in the link in the description down below for that video, which was in episode two, I believe. But what we want to do is go ahead and set up our Xbox 360. So I already have mine's here. I'm just going to go ahead and delete it. But so for this example, we're just going to go ahead and add another Xbox 360. You want to go ahead and type in the IP address we just saw via in XEX menu. So 1.1.2. Yours will be the same. Would you like to use that as your default uh, Xbox development kit? You could just say yes. If you have another Xbox, you could say no. But for me, this is my main one. And then this right here is your direct FTP. So you can see that my IP address is 1.1.2. Let's say if you want to use your other IP address or you don't even have to delete your other console, you could basically have um, two JTAG systems. You could have the one that's using just your regular Wi-Fi via like from the router, or you could use the direct FTP. So if everything worked, we should manually see all your contents in your JTAG folder. So as you notice, it's very snappy since it's way much faster to, you know, go through um, Xbox 360 neighborhood if it has a direct FTP. So you can see here that you can see all of my contents that is on my hard drive. You can see that I have my Xbox classic games. If you are guys remember from earlier episodes, I did transfer over Jet Set Radio. But let's go ahead and test some files so we can, um, you know, make sure that it's working. So what I'm going to do in this new folder here, there's nothing in here. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new text document and I'm just going to call it something random like that. And then if I drag it over here, you're going to see that it's going to transfer my file. Boom. So that's it doing its thing right here. And then once it's fully done, 
um this txt file is fully transferred over um it'll be able we be oh, i can't even talk today we'll be able to see it in this new folder so if i go into new folder you can see my text document is here and not too sure why this still say it's copying it shouldn't even be like you know taking that long but yeah this is the file transferred over if i go ahead and turn on my capture card real quick i'll pop it up once i have it edited if you see here if i go into hcd1 go into one of these new folders or let me scroll down to the right new folder you'll see the file we just transferred over so the random file we just transferred over is here so that's how you could test off the back that your files are transferring over via direct ftp let's say if we wanted to transfer i don't know um let's see i'm going to transfer one of my thumbnails into this directory right here so i just transfer it to the new folder if you see back onto my um folder right here if i go back into acd1 on my uh 360 going to new folder you can see that my thumbnail has transferred over as well i wish you could view it via with an xcx menu but probably you can't but yeah that's essentially on how you could direct ftp via this way which is may way much faster so if you wanted to transfer all your 360 games you can for this process if you wanted to transfer emulators um anything like xeec or you know payloads anything of that nature you are able to do so but yeah this is the end of the tutorial if you guys did enjoy this video please be sure to leave a like please be sure to comment and if you have any questions feel free to join my discord or just ask in the comment section down below Hey everyone, it's me Nagato's Adventure. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. With that being out the way as well, I highly do recommend that y'all guys go ahead and follow my social media so you never miss any of the latest hacking guides and tutorials on my channel by subscribing to me and hitting that notification button as well. It's another method on how you will know when I drop my latest content, whether it be for the Vita, PS4, PS3, and such and so forth. As well, if you want to be in a mix of things and you want to join my official community, you can join via the link right now showcased on the screen and join my my discord that way and if you do want to support my channel in any shape or form you could become a patron i will have a card right now but with all of that getting out the way hope you guys really did enjoy this video and i'll see y'all next time peace